this bitch. Oh gosh. Okay. So, I don't know. I was watching TV. The, I was watching TV last night, and I came across. A, who is texting me? Oh, Christy. Christy. I was watching the show called The People's Couch on Bravo, a reaction TV show, and um, on like multiple TV shows that they keep repeating on a daily basis. I came across this older episode where they were talking about the real housewives of, what, Pentatomic or whatever like that. I don't even know. Some random housewife in some random state, city, place, whatever. There was like this one particular scene where like it was this one chick's birthday, but she got so heated on the fact that some other chick is sitting in the, in the, middle, of the, in the middle of the table, like the center of attention. And she's flipping shit, she's talking shit, she's doing all this bullshit starting drama. Hell, it wouldn't be a show if you didn't flip shit over the dumbest one, did you? And I started to react, like, why am I not on this channel? So, like, this got me heated myself. Because I was just like, yo, who gives a shit? Is your name engraved into that seat? Did your daddy bought that for you? Like, did you say, um, excuse me, bitch, my daddy bought that for me? That my name's engraved into that seat? Like, move your ass up before I had to kick you out? And I'm like, honey bunny, you need to leave the motherfucking premises before I call the cops. And I'm over here like, dude, your name is not engraved on that seat. As And my, my personal opinion is, as long as somebody knows, as long as everybody in the party of your birthday knows it's your birthday, I don't give a shit if you're sitting on the roof. I don't give a shit if you're the one sitting in the middle of the, t of the table, sitting on top of the table, sitting next to me, sitting whatever. As long as everybody knows it's my day and I'm the one wearing the crown, okay? Now, I'm nothing like that, but bitch, you really need to like chill and calm your motive because no one gives a shit where you sit on your birthday no one gives a shit if like they sit in your seat your name is not engraved into that seat and I'm over here like it reminds me so much of eighth grade like this one girl when I first moved this one girl we're we're cool now but this one girl she was just like it was lunchtime and apparently 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 it was her lunch seats that I keep putting my stuff in front of. But last time I checked, I didn't see her name engraved into that seat. But supposedly it was hers. And you know, by the, by the time I got out of the lunch line to get my food, my stuff m magically switched to the other seat. And I'm over here like, okay, whatever. I'm new, I'm new here. I'm not gonna start shit, it's whatever. It's... But it kept going on and on and on and on and on. And I'm over here like, oh, Bitch, do you really want to try me? Because, like, it's a seat. Who gives a shit? And she thought she could own me. I became the lunch bitch. I became the trash bitch. I became everything because she thought I was that manipulative. I told that bitch off, and now we're cool. There was, like, this one particular incident on my bus where someone actually wrote their name on the bus seat with the Sharpie. And I'm like, y'all are so fucking stupid for doing that, but okay. Vanderpump Rules, though, was pretty cool. If you fuck with Lisa Vanderpump, you're screwed. But now I have a favorite motto from her. Where so if someone's about when someone's like, "You hate me, you hate me," and then the girl's like, "Honey, you're not too good to hate, so fuck off. You're not important enough to hate, honey bunny. Goodbye." And I was just like, "Oh!" And I, you know, I just wanted to rant because that reminded me so much of my childhood, middle school memories, and I'm over here like, mm, 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 mm. so yeah. Like, comment, subscribe if you like more videos from me. And peace out, my motherfuckers. I'll see you later. Bye.